If you want better clients for your web design, SEO, or digital agency, and you'd like to know exactly what to say when you're on a call with a new prospect, then just follow along with this video, because I'm about to teach you the same script that our agency clients use to sell paid discovery. Agencies anywhere from 20 grand a month right up to multiple seven figures a year are using this script to onboard better clients or upgrade existing clients using paid discovery or digital roadmaps as we call them. I made a whole video explaining the process, which I'll link up here, and now it's time to just give you the words to say so you can start getting paid to think instead of getting paid to click the buttons. Look, it doesn't matter how good you are at what you do. If you're getting paid to click the buttons, then you're a commodity. And the only thing you have to compete on is price. And that's a race to the bottom. The clients who pay you to think will be your best clients ever. They'll stick around the longest, have the highest lifetime value, and will be the clients that you do the best work for. So instead of doing free strategy calls, which everyone knows is a sales call, and then pitching a project or a monthly retainer, pitch a digital roadmap instead. It allows you and your team to get on the same page as your client very quickly and set the relationship up for success from day one. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna share some recent wins from our agency clients just so you know that I'm not some scammy internet marketer just making this up. So stick around for that. But right now, let's dive into the script. Okay, the script is broken into three sections. The first section is the most important and I call it taking ownership. As soon as the call starts, introduce yourself and ask a question that requires more than a simple yes, no answer. Don't ask, how are you? Because that can be answered without any thought. Ask something more engaging. My go-to question is, where are you in the world right now? This question is personal to them and also allows me to follow up with some clarifying questions about where they live and what's going on, showing that I really care about their situation, which by the way, I do. You can ask any question you like as long as it's authentic and encourages some thought. Keep this bit short, just enough to build some rapport and then move on to the call's agenda. You must set the purpose of the call. The important points here are that this is a 15 minute call, you have to adhere to the time frame, and your role is to ask questions to see if you can help. If you can't help, you'll point them in the right direction and part ways as friends. If you can help, you'll schedule another call to create a detailed plan. And that is when you're going to propose the digital roadmap or paid discovery session. Finally, ask permission to move on. This gives them an opportunity to bow out or ask any questions. And 100% of the time, they will agree and you can continue. This is also a signal of what I call micro commitment and behavioral congruence. I made a whole video about those two concepts, which I'll put up there and now you have permission to ask the questions you need to to establish whether or not this prospect is a good fit for you and your team to work with and you also have permission to pitch them the digital roadmap at the end of the call. By the way, if you don't know who your ideal client is, I made a whole video to help you develop your ideal client profile, which you can check out there. The second part of the script is where you get to ask lots of questions to assess the damage. Remember, this person is on the phone with you or Zoom or Teams or whatever else you use because they have a problem that needs to be solved or an opportunity they want to explore and they don't know how to do it themselves. Avoid giving any advice here. I don't think you should give any advice on this call. I think you should ask a lot of questions to make sure you can actually help them achieve what they want to achieve. I've given you some sample questions in the script here, which are a great place to start. However, it's important that you develop your own way of asking these questions so that it feels conversational and that you're not reading from a document. There are four big questions that I want to try and answer during this conversation to make sure they're a good fit. These questions have been commonly known as the BANT framework, and BANT stands for budget, authority, need, and timeline. I do it in a different order. I usually start off by asking why now and why us? And what I want to uncover here is what's happening in their business or their situation that makes this a priority right now and why have they chosen to speak with us about it. Then I ask some general questions about their business model, their ideal client, the problems they solve and the makeup of their team. And one of the things I'm looking for here is who is the authority or the decision maker in the business? There's no point pitching to Robin if Batman is not in the room. Then I'll dig in and ask some clarifying questions about their answers in order to widen the gap between where they are now and where they want to be in the future, particularly around the things that I can actually help them with. If there's no gap, then I can't help them. If they tell me what the gap is in their own words, then I can position what we do as the vehicle that's going to help them bridge that gap. And I usually finish off by asking them what's missing or broken and what they need from us right now. So at this point, I understand their needs, their timeline, and who the decision maker is. But what about their budget? Well, good question. This is the beauty of pitching a digital roadmap instead of a full project or an ongoing retainer. The digital roadmap is a low ticket, low risk offer 
And if they can't afford that, then we're not gonna work together, period. Pitching a digital roadmap is my way of qualifying their budget. And this removes the need for any awkward conversations about money, because let's face it, they're all awkward. The final part of this section is to recap in their own words as much as you can what they've told you. I can't overstate how important this is because this may be the first time in years that somebody has actively listened to their problem and shown that they understand. This helps a lot in building trust and it also gives them the opportunity to clarify or add anything they've overlooked. Now, based on your ideal client profile, simply decide whether or not this prospect's a good fit. This is the third section of the script where we prescribe the next steps. So repeat what you said at the start of the call to remind them that your job today is to ask questions and let them know if you can actually help. This eliminates you getting stuck on a call with someone who just wants to pick your brain and ask for free advice. If you're not a good fit, just tell them. You don't think you're a good fit and tell them why. Describe your ideal client to them and explain the type of work that you typically do and that you're best at. And if you can, point them in the right direction to a resource or another agency who might be able to help them and part ways as friends. If they are a good fit, then tell them that and tell them you're gonna book them in for a digital roadmap session. Just approach this with the mindset that you assume they're gonna say yes because it's a low ticket, low risk offer. I see agency owners get tangled up in their own shoelaces over this all the time. My advice is that you just say the words that are in the script and make sure you give them an opportunity to ask questions along the way and this keeps the conversation feeling like you know, a conversation rather than a pitch and it allows you to cover any objections in advance like this. So. The good news is you're a perfect fit for what we do and I'd love to book you in for a digital roadmap session. In this session, we focus on three things. We're gonna explore all the moving parts and variables of this project, who it's for, why you're doing it, what resources you have available, how it needs to be done, when it needs to be delivered. Essentially, we're gonna ensure we have all the answers to all the big questions and that everyone's on the same page. Do you have any questions about this? Great. Next, we're gonna define the success criteria for this project so we know exactly what it looks like when we've hit a home run. Do you have any questions about that? Great, finally, we'll create a plan to make sure we can achieve the success criteria in the given timeline. Do you have any questions about that? Great, do you have any other questions about the digital roadmap process? Okay, then if you want some help to implement the plan that we produce after the digital roadmap session, we can have a discussion about what that looks like, or if you decide that we're not the right people to help you at that point, you can take that plan and implement it yourself, or you can shop it around to other agencies. Either way, we're good. You've got the plan, you've paid for it, we've been paid for our expertise. Sound good? See, simple, just say the words. Now, if they do ask questions along the way, simply answer them one at a time by telling them the truth. Radical, I know. Now, if you want a power tip, Make sure you have a payment link set up that you can send your prospect on the call to get them to commit and pay then and there and get them booked into your calendar. Momentum is everything in the sales process, so do not let them get off the call without either booking in a digital roadmap session or booking in a follow-up call to talk again. Every 24 hours that passes after a sales conversation gives the prospect the chance to call off. Our typical close cycle is less than seven days. If they don't close within seven days, it could be months before we talk to them again. So to recap, the sales script for selling paid discovery is broken into three parts. Part one is called taking ownership and it's your job to ask the first question, set the agenda for the call and ask permission to continue. Own the call. Part two is called assessing the damage and it's where you ask questions to establish the answers to the band framework, widen the gap between where they are now and where they want to be in the future and then recap the situation in their own words as much as possible. Part three is called prescribing the next steps and it's where you repeat the purpose of the call to keep it on track and avoid getting into the advice trap and then you either part ways as friends or ideally pitch them a digital roadmap. Now, because I know you're about to ask, of course, I'm gonna give you a copy of this script. I'll put a link in the description below. Feel free to download it, come back and rewatch this video and follow along. And remember, it doesn't matter how good you are at what you do. If you're getting paid to click the buttons, then you are a commodity. And the only thing you have to compete on is price, and that's a fast race to the bottom. The clients who pay you to think will be your best clients ever. They'll stick around the longest have the highest lifetime value and will be the best clients that you get the best results for. Agencies we mentor that are doing anywhere from 20 grand a month right up to multiple seven figures a year are using this exact script to onboard better clients, upgrade existing clients using paid discovery and digital roadmaps, and now it's your turn to start getting paid to think instead of just getting paid to click the buttons. So how I told you, if you stayed with me until the end, I'd share a bunch of case studies on agencies that are using paid discovery to help them grow their recurring revenue and onboard the best clients they've ever had and keep their teams happy all at once. And so if you're interested in that, then this is your next video.